Howling at the Moon. You ready for some dreams? To the dreams. Something that's going to the moon. Maybe it's a miner, something that mines shit or something. I got like a picture of it and it looks like a video game enemy or something. It's weird looking thing. This shape. It's got like things on the side that are going into the ground, rotating and shit. And I never actually saw it. Everybody's supposed to be going or signing up to go and we're, there's like a big room like a gymnasium people are sitting there and they're taking people out of it to go somewhere and do something like every couple minutes every 20 minutes or so something like that and then it all changes and there's a there's like a little isolated family with Like a Hispanics, they're Hispanic. There's a old dad, um, a son, which is like the brother, and then a young daughter. And well, this is weird because this is fucking weird. The father every day would somehow negotiate with the younger son, the son, to take the daughter somewhere. He was abusing her, whatever, raping her, and somehow, in the course of all this, and I don't even know how in, in the dream I even see this going on, but it was it it was like everyone was watching this like it was a famous story, like everybody knew that this happened and it just here's how or some shit I don't fucking know. So the dad would be trying to he would be like buying from the brother, the his daughter to molest her and he would give her some weird he would give him something i don't know that's was part of his abuse whatever he would do he would pretend to be you know uh taking her out or something weird like that the girl ends up poisoning the dad using some weird shit they had like where he would go through an area where he would always walk she had some sort of weird poison that she fucking put on the walls. It took a long time for it to get into your system, but when it did, it started to fuck you up. And that's how she fucking, she murdered him. She murdered him. And it was like a famous, it, it seemed like everyone knew this, like this was some national fucking everybody knows. And which is what's weird about dream shit is because all, you know, you could just suddenly think you know something, everybody knows something and you don't, You've never fucking heard anything about it. And in the dream, it was like this was like some sort of famous thing that everyone knew about. And we were all interested to sit and watch how it actually happened, you know, because, you know, it was like Elvis or some shit. I don't fucking know. But whatever plant, the girl had access to some sort of plant, like a weird bean or something that she put in this hallway it, it wasn't fast acting, but it, when it started to work, it took like she had to, she was doing it for years, putting this stuff in this area. So it was completely saturated or something and somehow killed this, this guy, this, this creepy old Hispanic man that was molesting her. And that was the dream that I had. And I was watching it like a movie. It was a good movie too. Cause it was fucking news. The moon shit, I don't understand what the fuck that has to do with anything. But they were mining shit on the moon and taking people here and there at the same time anyway. Maybe it was... Nazis. And we're watching like the in-flight movie in Argentina it could have been Argentinians the family because of the weird plants and weird South America shit and it does seem like something more that way I don't know they didn't say what their ethnicity was it was Spanish speaking people so I call them Mexicans 
but the Nazis went to Argentina, so it might have been the Nazis. There's been an interesting Nazi thing lately on, lately, because watching all the mind control shit that they had, they brought, they brought it, they brought that shit to the rest of the world, the trauma mind control. America just uses it on everyone too. But where we got it, we got it from the Nazis. They were 20 years ahead of everyone else, so that's probably what you're going to want when you start using that shit on your people. So it just stands to figure that that's it. I don't know. Some people don't know. They don't care. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm just saying what the my dream had going on. I didn't dream of anybody I knew. I didn't see a single person I knew. I saw some famous people that seemed like it was weird they were in the dream. That's kind of how I thought I was watching the dream. But it was like watching a movie. It wasn't like really having a dream. Watching myself watch a movie from some sort of weird airport or space base. I bet they do have movies for people that are doing shit like that, so, I don't know, I continually wonder if, uh, if it's experiencing something that's in another reality, or if it's actually just weird jumbled shit, my mind's trying to get me to decode and figure out, I think it's all over the place, though, dreams are all the fuck over the place, they're, in, they're incredibly weird, detailed, lucid, I don't know. But I know I bought ice cream yesterday. And for breakfast, it's not too bad. I'm eating it. I slept fucking hard. My body feels all like burnt. Tingly in the wrong kind of tingly. Like when you're sort of paralysis. bed broke up like Atlantis last night it started sinking in different places my upper body got somehow sucked down and I couldn't get I couldn't pull myself up and something was pinning me on both sides of my head I don't know I, I looked back at it when after I woke up and tried to figure out what the hell it was and I have no idea but I remember being in the dark and not being able to get up because there was something holding my head and I was like did you cry for help? Did you ask for someone to help you? Because how did you get up? There was nothing I could do because I couldn't pull my, however my lower body was to pull the upper part of, of it. I couldn't, I couldn't do it because I was all fucking twisted and fucked off laying there. And it's like, if you lay on your back wrong, you're not going to be able to use it. Because you can't pull against the muscles when you get them out of whack. Good morning, America.